off on a European charm offensive. Joe Biden will hope to repair a fractured relationship with France as he sits down with Emmanuel Macron for the first time since the infamous submarine row. We got to move forward, right? I think we have to move forward. Uh, like I said, you know, N National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan was in Paris recently. Uh, Secretary Tony Blinken was in Paris. I think that shows uh, how deeply important uh, the relationship of France uh, with France is. And then the president's going to have his meeting. And I think that's what we want to focus on. How do we move forward and continue to work on this relationship and deepen, deepen the relationship that we have with France? Last month, the U.S. agreed to sell nuclear submarines to Australia, supplanting a French deal in the process. This sparked an unprecedented diplomatic crisis, in which France briefly recalled its ambassador to Washington. Paris says it's up to the U.S. to make amends for what it calls a stab in the back, but according to this former CIA agent, Joe Biden's priorities may be lying elsewhere. The White House speaks first and foremost to a domestic audience and doesn't know or care or think much about the international audience. So Biden will say something not thinking much about what the French might think about what it is he's saying. And I think in general, Americans do not really give that much consideration at all. Yet the American president will be mindful of lingering anger and frustration on the French side and could see this meeting as an opportunity to appease tensions. At the very least, what he's going to do is affirm the bilateral relations that already exist, the cooperation that already exists, uh, most specifically in Africa, where the U.S. plays an important role in supporting French military operations. I think, secondly, uh, ideally, what Joe Biden will be able to do is to find ways to, to, to express his esteem for the value that France represents as, a, as an ally in the Indo-Pacific theater, uh, as a diplomatic ally, as a military ally, and as an economic ally. Biden will also be eager to demarcate himself from the unilateralism and abrasive style of his predecessor. But whether he can do enough to restore trust between the two historical allies remains to be seen.